Hi guys, it's Carol. How are you? Good afternoon. It's 1225 my time. I will have another video that's scheduled to post at 5 p.m. tonight. That's my Timu haul. Uh, Casey and my granddaughter Taylor did it. <laughs> okay, we just can't handle any more rain. <laughs> Whoever's doing the rain dance, please stop now. Um, send this rain on to somewhere else. I'm going to read you an article from Channel 7 News. That's our local ABC affiliate. I wish I could show you the pictures, but I'm sure they're copyrighted. But anyway, it says storms were prolific rainmakers overnight Wednesday night, producing up to two inches of rain in less than 30 minutes. This sparked high water rescues as early as 1 a.m. Thursday in southwest Amarillo due to four to six feet of water inundating buildings and apartments near Paramount and 26. That's right off of I-40. I-40 goes right through the middle of town. Uh, Paramount and 26 is just a couple of blocks off of I-40. Right there, there's a, a hole in the ground. They call it Lawrence Lake, but it's not a lake. People are not allowed to get anywhere near close to it. It's just a big hole in the ground and it's not safe and it's, it fills up with water when it rains. Well, that has flooded. Um, uh, local and state resources are working together, assisting and rescuing individuals impacted by the most recent storm. Please keep yourself out of harm's way and avoid this area as the rescuers try to save people. No, duh, don't go into the water when the street's totally flooded. Resources from as far as the Dallas-Fort Worth area, which is, I keep saying it's 600 miles, it's more like 400 miles to Dallas. Um, we're seen assisting with rescues by boat, not on Lawrence Lake, that big pole in the ground, on the street, a boat on the street. <laughs> uh, it says Governor Greg Abbott has issued a disaster declarations for 13 counties in the Panhandle, including right here. At 4.30 a.m., the National Guard arrived to the staging area of Market Street Grocery Store, uh, at 5.30 a.m., rescued residents were loaded onto transport vehicles. I mean, these are big, heavy-duty rescue equipment machines and taken to the shelter, which they had fixed up at a local middle school gym. 136 people and 24 animals were rescued by 10.30 a.m. We've just had so much rain <laughs> along paramount street there are lots of businesses that's a a business street for the most part in one big apartment building the people came from the apartment building that were being rescued um all of those businesses have water <laughs> it's awful uh on the news yesterday or the day before there was an interview with a gentleman my heart just broke for him. I cried with him. Something, I don't understand flood insurance, but something about flood insurance, you're, you're only able to sell flood insurance to people who live in a specified flood zone area. If you're not in this flood zone area, insurance companies can't sell you insurance. I don't know why. I guess it's to keep innocent people from buying flood insurance when they're high and dry and will never see water. I don't know. But anyway, this gentleman... Had a, has a home out in an area of Amarillo that's really flooded. And he was in the flood plan, flood zone, but the city redid the map for the flood zones in Amarillo. And in, he, is, he said he's just a hair outside of the range. His flood insurance company canceled his flood insurance in February. His house now is standing in water on the inside, just flooded and he has no flood insurance now bless his heart i just my heart just broke for him he was just so emotional about about it it was awful so please pray for amarillo people not me i'm fine but there are so many people whose f homes have been flooded there's an area of million dollar homes here that are flooded there's a lot of poor people their homes have been flooded. It's just water, water, water everywhere. Now, like I said, where I am, we don't have water standing. 
So thank goodness I won't be flooded. And I don't have flood insurance. <laughs> I have renter's insurance, but it doesn't cover that. But if I could show you the pictures from the news stations, you would not believe how much standing water there is in town. I, I mean, streets are blocked off and closed so people can't get on them all through town. It's it's crazy. But anyway, I just wanted to tell you about that. The, the thunder and lightning woke me up at exactly 1.43 <laughs> last night, and it was raining hard, lots of lightning. And uh, the weatherman says today should be dry, but we're under a flood advisory through Friday. So there may be another storm coming our way. We are all just astounded by this much water and that they had a boat rescuing people from an apartment building <laughs> and these huge, huge rescue vehicles. It, it, oh my gosh. Well, I'm fine. My Timu video that Taylor made and with Casey is going to show up at 5 p.m. Central Time. So, hope you watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate all the thumbs up and comments. I really do. I just can't tell you how much I appreciate the comments. And uh, there's one lady from the Netherlands that has started, uh, she's always left me a thumbs up. Now and then again, she types me a message. She worries about her English. Don't worry about your English. I am amazed at you, Sophia. I'm amazed at you. I have some subs in Australia, the United Kingdom, uh, I, India. I am just astounded. And when you leave me messages, if my grandkids are here, or if, even if they're not, I look up where you live and read about it to see what it's like where you live. So uh, if you want to tell me where you live, I will look it up, even if it's a city in the United States or if it's another country, I will look it up and see what I can find out about where you live because you're my friends. Okay, guys, bye. Stay safe. If you have deep water, don't go near it. Bye.